of Hogs. My name is Zoe Rodriguez. Hi, I'm Cooper. And you're watching Hog Talk. Talk. As you can tell, we aren't your usual anchors. But I'm sure we won't let you down. You know who else won't let us down? Who? December's Senior of the Month. Leah is kind, hardworking, empathetic, and inclusive. As she came in at halftime, we were already down 4 1. We were all concerned. I'm sure I was very concerned on my face. And she said, Don't worry about this, coach. We got this. And then she started to lead in her Leah way that she does, started pumping up everybody. Uh, we all got excited and we were able to make a comeback and win that game 6-5. One time after mock trial practice, we had a mock trial practice like 30 minutes away at a courthouse and we were driving home, it was like nine on a school night and I told her that I was hungry and I wanted chicken strips from Dairy Queen. So she drove me all the way to Huntington Beach and we got chicken strips, but they were out. So we just really went for no reason, but it was funny because we had a lot of fun just driving, listening to music and talking. So I've known Leah for a really long time actually. I've known Leah since preschool and she's grown into herself, into her extraordinary personality. I've seen her develop in confidence, in how outgoing she is. What hasn't changed is her heart, which is so good and so pure. She greets everyone as a friend. She's ready to get to know everyone. She's sincerely invested in everyone. Leah is very fearless in everything she does. And over the years, I've gotten to see her become more comfortable with herself and with the people she's around. And I love that she's never afraid to go out of her comfort zone. Leah has a really positive attitude and is probably one of the funniest people I know. So she always just brings her infectious laugh and smile to everything she does. Leah and I are in the same small group at church and we've gotten to grow together over the past four years with our small group. She's involved in pretty much everything from ASB, Ed Law, academics and athletics. I think Leah's influenced our nest through the power of her example, the power of her leadership, and the power of her effort. Congratulations, Leah. I'm becoming December's Senior of the Month. Congrats to December's Senior of the Month. The Hawk community has been shaped by many amazing students, families, teachers, and friends. Today we take some time to recognize the Wells family. Katie Wells, mom of former Golden Hawk Logan Wells, will be on campus next Wednesday, March 22nd, to share her son's story. Logan's story is not only an impactful one, but also an inspirational one. Mrs. Wells will be here during the junior and senior language arts classes recounting her son's stories and also holding a Q&A at the end of the presentation where students will be able to pose any questions relating to Logan. You know what, Cooper? I just noticed that you've been wearing a lot of green lately. Would I have to do with anything in particular? No, Zoe. I just like the color green and shamrocks. Just like the district likes Shamrocks with their annual Shamrock and Run. Da, 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 da. On Sunday, March 19th, students are encouraged to take foot in the Shamrock and Run event in order to help sponsor school running clubs. The event will take place at Yorba Regional Park with the 2K track beginning at 9.30 a.m. and the 5K track at 8 a.m. They will also be hosting a pancake breakfast prior to the start of the event, as well as a new square course from 8.15 to 11 a.m. Come join the 11th annual Shamrock and Run event on Sunday, March 19th. We'll see you at the finish line. I think I'm gonna have a rockin' time running on Sunday for sure. You know what? I think it's time we run on over to our next segment, Jock Talk. What's up, Hawks? I'm Maggie Grijalva, and you're watching Jock Talk. Baseball came out on top against Canyon with a 7-6 win. Way to go, boys. Softball played Esperanza on Monday, losing 6-2 to the Aztecs. Boys tennis had a big win against Lucerna, winning 14-4. Way to go, boys. Their match against your Belinda was rained out, but we will have the scores for you next week. Boys volleyball had a big win against your Belinda, 3-2. They also had their first league game on Tuesday, unfortunately losing 3-1 to Villa Park. Boys lacrosse had a tough loss against Servite on Saturday, losing 5-20, but are looking to bounce back against Canyon and Norco. Those scores will be reported next week. Now on over to the pool deck where our boys swim beat Esperanza 92-78, but unfortunately lost to Canyon 96-74. Girls swim lost to Esperanza 92-78 and Canyon 118-48. Boys golf had their first match of the year against Foothill, but unfortunately lost 204-224. Girls lacrosse had a big league win against El Medina, winning 16-1. Keep up the good work, ladies. Thanks for watching Jock Talk, and we'll see you next week with some more sports updates. The sports world sure is crazy, and I'm super excited for our spring sports to be back in season. Oh, something I'm super excited for is our next segment. Extra A's. Howdy Hawks, Sadie's Hawk Hoedown is in the Joe Raya Gym this Saturday at 7 p.m. $15 with ASB, $20 without. The Sham Rock and Run is this Sunday from 5.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at the Yorba Wanda Regional Park. Freshman deadline for course requests is Tuesday, March 21st. GCU Info Night is next Tuesday, March 21st at the Yorba Linda Community Center. Doors open at 545. Boys Across plays at home against Norco this Saturday. 
See you there, Hawks. If you're interested in any of the spring activities, audition times are posted on the edhs.org bulletin. Alyssa Abernathy is a DMAA Student of the Week for her effort in visual communications. Great job, Alyssa. The emphasis on the A's was noted. It's got extra. A. Extra A's was last segment. Well, you know what that means. It means that, thank goodness for y'all, you won't have to be spending extra time with us and our puns. You know, we had a lot of fun in green. Now, goodbye. goodbye. And have a, have a wonderful, wonderful day, day, Hawks. <laughs> that works. Goodbye. <laughs> Why is there a